Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a pivot table to summarize data by the hour. Here we have a very long report. It gives us information for the number of page views for three websites by the minute. That's far too much data to actually manage, so we want to produce a report that will summarize this raw data and show us the number of page views that we get by the hour for each of the three websites. All right, let me show you how to do this. I'm going to move over here into the raw data. I want to be able to create a pivot table, but before that, I want to make sure that I have clearly defined the field headers. I did that by applying bold formatting. I have no blank rows and no blank columns. So with a single cell selected, go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and choose Pivot Table. Now, in this case, I'm going to create the pivot table on this worksheet. So I'll select a single cell, click OK, and let's build the pivot table. Let me just move this uh, field list over here. I want to add the time field to the pivot table, and I want to be able to group the time to change it from the minutes into the hour. Simple way to do that. Select a single cell, right mouse click, choose Group, and deselect Months, which is the default selection. In this case, we want to group by the hour. So I see my beginning time and my end time. That's the range of data that I have. It's one day, each minute in a 24-hour period. Click OK. And now you see that we have 24 uh, entries, one for each hour in the 24-hour day. Now to add in the information to summarize, check next to each, Site 1, Site 2, Site 3. They get added down in to the Values area. What I want to do is make two changes. I'm not really happy with this title, Sum of Site 1. So I want to change the value field settings. One way to do that is to select a single cell in the field that you wish to change the value field settings for. Choose Value Field Settings, and in the dialog box, let's first change the number format. I want to make this a number that has zero decimal places, and I want to have the thousand separator in it. I also want to change the name. I really want it to say Site 1, but Excel won't allow that when we do a grouping. However, we can trick it. Really, it's very simple. Just add a space after Site 1. Click OK. So the name has been changed, and the number format has been changed. Let's do the same for uh, Site 2. Select a single cell, right mouse click, Value Field Settings, once again, I could either type in or I could just simply deselect the text that I don't want and make sure that I add a space so it's Site 2 Space. Click on Number Format. We want number with zero decimal places and a thousand separator. Click OK. Click OK. I want to apply a similar change to the third website. So once again, Select a single cell, Value Field Settings, change the name. This time, I'm just going to type over it. So I want to put in there Site 3 and a space after that. Change the number format. And when we click OK, we have everything that we need. We no longer need to see the pivot table field list we've produced a really nice summary that has grouped the raw data, which was by minute, into a grouping in the pivot table by hour. Let's change this row label up here, and we'll call that hour. And I want to apply one additional setting. If you come back here and take a look at the picture of the final result, notice the green shading that I have in certain of the cells. Well, I've used conditional formatting to highlight the cells that are in the top percent of the data set. So let me show you how this works. And this was a really, really wonderful improvement that began in Excel 2007. So I want to select the data points for each of the three websites by the hour. I don't want to select the grand total. Now that I've selected the data that I wish to apply conditional formatting to, click on the Home tab of the ribbon 
and in conditional formatting we want a top bottom rule. In this case we want to choose one of the pre-built rules, the top 10% rule. Now I could change that. I could make it 5%, I could make it 15%. I'll stay with 10, but I do want to change the color for the conditional formatting. Click OK. And now when I click aside, you can see the conditional formatting. So conditional formatting has highlighted each of the cells in the data set that I selected that are in the top 10% of the range. So now I have a very manageable, actionable report. Not only do I see the total of the sales by hour, and that would be almost impossible to do in any other way except using a pivot table, and then I've used conditional formatting to highlight the hours or, or the data points by hour by website that fall into the 10%, top 10% of my entire data range. So experiment with pivot tables. It's absolutely incredible what you can do. And if you want to learn more about pivot tables, I have a 90-minute uh, DVD that you can purchase or download that will work you through how to get the most out of pivot tables in Excel. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.